Alright, good evening everybody. It's April 15th. Cheers. It's about 7 p.m. My uh, 14 hour day is coming to an end. If I was a good little farmer, I'd keep abiding by the next hour and 20 minutes. I choose not to today. A little bit of a celebration. We'll talk about that in a minute. You know, <laughs> if you want to grow your channel, subscribers, viewer accounts, touche, great. Um, I, I, I think it's an excellent goal. I, I guess. Um, there's certain ways to go about it as far as I'm concerned I've never been concerned with that I just wanted to have fun and that's what I'm doing here what you probably shouldn't do is blast others and their practices um, that video you put on was directly at me, and that's fine. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I laughed. I thought it was hilarious. Um, instead of repeating yourself just one time, maybe twice, you did it eight or 10 times, you made yourself look like a crying baby. And I think that's funny. You scream of desperation of subscribers, view counts, and you tried to do it at my expense. Again, it's funny. You made yourself look like a fool. <coughs> you really did. What works for you, your territory, your land, your farm, the amount of cattle that you may or may not have, and everything else in between. If it works for you, that's great. It doesn't mean that it works for others. There's a lot of differences. Now, if it works for you, you're a good girl, 247. Great. Teach it. Expand on it. Um, showboat it. I think that's fantastic. Not everything that you do is fit for others and the operation that they have. Uh, I'm going to stop there. I know you're going to see this. Uh, you made yourself look like a crying, whining baby, screaming for attention. And uh, like I said, viewer counts and subscriber counts. But uh, we all have to do what we have to do in this world to each their own. And uh, you, sir, you're kind of a jackass. <laughs> Again, I'm laughing at you. Uh, I, I do think it's funny. So, And I'll be honest with you, I think you're better than that. So maybe you ought to practice that. We've all seen a lot of YouTube channels implode and you're well on your way uh, but by all means continue your practices me oh, I'll be fine I can guarantee you that all right that's it on that subject I hope that you got that uh, I, I promise it did not sink in but uh, at the end of the day I, I do not care I don't all right, for the last uh, amount of time, 
If you're a fan of the channel whatsoever, I have spit out of my mouth that per calendar, calving starts April 20th. Well, there's a lot of grunting coming from you. You're fine. You're okay. Calving starts April 20th. You're a long ways away. Um, I had said I'm, I'm almost guaranteed to see a calf by April 15th. Well, I ended up to be a liar. If there's a cattleman's cow calf school, I, I, I probably need to I probably need to go back to it. So yeah, I've got three animals that are calving first. Uh, pretty interesting AI breeding season last year for this year's calves. 247 as you've seen. Um, she's one of the first <coughs> by rights. So it was 247, 10, 10, which means 1,010, and then the number 10. I'll explain my numbers at some point. I know it's all over the place. I'll explain it, and I'll make it kind of make sense. So when Dad and I started AI breeding last year, uh, we immediately uh, got the three animals I just told you about. And we went on a five day, that's never happened before. In fact, I don't think three has ever happened before, let alone two days. Uh, we went on a, about a five day lull where there was zero, zero heat detection. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. I'm making a habit of being out here just like it was full-fledged calving season. I have been doing that for a couple few days now. And uh, so a little celebration time here. I don't know how much we're celebrating because of the cost of the whole damn thing. But uh, my fertilizer program ended today in record form as far as time of the year. Uh, things look really good. I, I really look forward to taking you on a, I'm going to call it a early crop check. You're okay, girl. You're fine. I know you're uncomfortable. 118, yeah. That's another very old cow right there. You're okay. So yeah, fertilizer's over. Uh, I ended up with a empty buggy yesterday afternoon, Sunday. <coughs> and uh, one of two things was gonna happen. I was either gonna go to Ray's Feed Mill and drop off the empty buggy because they're running ragged right now. Or I was gonna fill it back up to hit my last three bad properties low-lying ground, uh, whatnot. So last night, I took a nice little scoot on the side-by-side -side and, and looked at those three properties, and sure as hell, they were they were fitting. And uh, I went and filled the buggy up today with the amount of fertilizer needed, got the properties covered, and I'm done. It's a good feeling. You can probably hear the sandhill cranes. that you can. Um, they're in full force right now with migration. I've seen the largest V of geese mid-morning today that I've ever seen. It was impressive. So things are really turning here. We're all getting along real good. I'd like to go to show you 247 again, but she just, she just laid down and got comfortable. It's any given moment here, folks. We got a we got a bunch of beautiful, beautiful fat mamas, pregnant mamas. Hey, Miss One Thousand, Miss One Thousand's got Architect in her. Uh, I'm putting a lot of stock in Architect. Architect. 
uh, as far as uh, producing breeding bulls. Uh, Miss 1000 is a bull producing machine. And uh, we got our fingers crossed for a, uh, a bull calf out of Architect. Architect, unless something happens or changes, Architect is my next go-to catback bull for my breeding purposes. Right now I'm on an iconic kick, and that kick is going to keep going for a couple of years. Uh, I look for Architect to be my next. These are all Gen X sires that I'm reiterating to you. But, uh, yeah, this is quite beautiful. Okay, this is not going to last. We got temperature drops coming. Um, you know, it's still early spring. We got temperature drops coming and, uh, I'm seeing a couple, I'm seeing a pile of different reports starting Tuesday night through Wednesday. The worst report I'm seeing is two inches of rain. Two inches of rain is going to destroy my yards again, but whatever, I can't control it. Uh, we still do need moisture. The kindest report I'm seeing is about a quarter inch or so, which will be real nice for all this fertilizer that's that's been sitting on the ground literally uh, Sunday and today. <coughs> It'd be nice to get that and have that beat into the ground. We'll see what happens. I can't control it. Right now I'm in full-fledged calving mode. Fertilizer is over. Um, it's done, it's gone, it's out of my mind. I can start concentrating on other things, which is uh, some fence line corners that may need major rehab and uh, <clears throat> shoveling out 60, 70, 80 loads of cow lot manure. Uh, and the list goes on and on. That's good, it's a good thing. That's it, folks. I'm checking in with you. It's getting that time of year. I'm pretty damn excited. I kind of hope that you are, too. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just it's that time of year. I don't know. Everybody's doing real good. Happy, healthy, uh, rambunctious. Uh, there's a lot of discomfort out here as well, obviously. And uh, truck just pulled out of my farm. I need to go see what the hell that is. I'm going to talk to you sooner and later.